Hello welcome uh, to this presentation uh, Biology Grade 10 Unit 3 Human Biology and Health Under uh, our presentation part 5 we will see about common eye defects in the ear as sense organ and also common disorder of ear and the skin as sense organ don't forget subscribing liking sharing commenting my videos let us start our today common eye defects as people get older the lens of eye may begin to harden so uh, accommodation become more difficult and they cannot focus on easily on close object this can uh, make reading a problem all eye defects involve use of uh, extra lens to bend the light a lens is a piece of transparent marine material usually glass or plastic has one or more uh, curved surface an outward curve makes convex lens and bend the light rays toward each other a converging lens an inward curve makes a concave lens and spread the light rays out or di uh, can be uh, corrected by diverging lens. The common eye defects are short sight, long sight and astigmatism. Short sight is a short sighted person can focus clearly on things that are close to them, has a much more difficulty with objects uh, in distance which appear blurred cause this uh, the cause is this may be a result of lens that is effectively too strong it is to curb it even when shadow muscles are full uh, fully relaxed and the light from distant object is focused on front of retina light it the second one is light is normal but eyeball is particularly long and this means the image that actually lands on retina spread out again and the blurry. Short sighted, uh, short sighted problem can be corrected using concave or diverging lens that spread the light out more before it gets into eye. This means that thicker lens can bring rays of light into perfect focus on retina. There is a room in a long eyeball for light rays to be focused on correct points. So, short-sighted short problem can be corrected if you think concave lens or diverging lens. The second one is uh, long sights. A long sight person can focus clearly at things that are at a distance has a much more difficulty with objects close to them which appear blurred. This may be as a result of lens that is effectively too weak. It is too flat even when ciliary muscles are fully contracted and so the light from close object is focused behind the retina. So the image can actually land on retina is spread out and blurred. Another cause of the long, -sighted, uh, long sightedness is when the lens is normal but the eyeball is particularly short. And again, this means light is focused behind retina. Long sighted problem can be corrected using convex or converging lenses that bring li the light uh, rise together before they reach your eye. Now, the th uh, thinner length can bring the rays of light into perfect focus on retina, or short eyeball becomes right length for light right to focus on correct points. So, in short, length sighted problem can be corrected using convex lens or converging lens. The third one is astigmatism is another fairly common eye defects. The shape of eye is irregular, more egg-shaped than round. So the cornea is uh, curved asymmetrically. A 
and this affects the way light focused on retina. In some people, it is the light rather than eyeball itself that is unusual shape, but in the result is the same. Astigmatism can also be corrected by using the lens, but situation is more complex than for long and short sights. The other point is about 3D vision is a vital for giving us the judgment of distance. It is also comes from overlapping of the visual field from our two eyes. If you look at one lid uh, through one eye, it is appear flat. Seeing in dips depends on you using both eyes. Each eye sees a slightly different view of the same object. Your brain combines the two eye images and uses all information to give you a 3D view of an object. The ear as sense organ. Ears are specialized organs for enable to hear sound. They are also concerned with balance and the position of the body. The ear is divided into three regions: the outer ear the middle ear and the inner ear. The outer ear consists of pinna helps to trap and funnel sound into ear. External auditory canals lead us from pinna is uh, a tube. In human, it is about 2 cm long. At the center entrance of ear canal, uh, uh, Ear canal are number of small hairs are there. This uh, flatter out dust and the particles from uh, the air entering the ear canal. The middle ear, the middle ear consists of ear, ear derm, uh, is a cavity filled with air, uh, a very thin membrane called ear derm or tympanum that close the tube. The three tiny bones are there in uh, that auditory oscillations are uh, in middle ear this is the uh, malice or hammer the second one is incas or avil anvil and the third one is steps or strap because of their shape the they are smallest bone in the body the middle ear cavity of the uh, it is connected to your throat by uh, a tube uh, called stretching uh, to the third one is inner ear. The inner ear consists of oval window, which is have a oval in shape opening, and round window, round shape opening. Uh, these two are openings opposite to the eardrum. Also, inner ear also consists of a cavity filled with fluid, uh, means a two sac-like structure that is uh, scalas and uh, utriculus. The three semi-circular uh, canals that involve balance. Cola is a, co a cold tube. The uh, scalas, uh, utriculus, and the semi-circular uh, semi canals and the coella are filled with a liquid. A cross-section of coella reveals that it is made uh, up of three tubes in one. The floor of the middle tube is lined with sensory cells linked to affect our neurons. These nerve fibers join to form an auditory nerve which leads to the brain. The other point is about 3D vision is a vital for giving us the judgment of distance. It is also comes from overlapping of the visual field from our two eyes. If you look at one lid uh, through one eye, it is appear flat. Seeing in dips depends on you using both eyes. Each eye sees a slightly different view of the same object. Your brain combines the two eye images and uses all information to give you a 3D view of an object. Vibration of the plot cause the hair like sensory cells to move. These movements in turn cause production of nerve impulse in affected nerve fibers. These impulses are transmitted to brain for interpretations. This uh, the human eye, ear 
is sensitive to vibration ranging from those of a very low note of about 20 vibrations per second to a very high note of about 30,000 30, vibrations per second. High notes are detected in the first part of uh, Corella and the low notes are recorded in the last part of Coquilla. Stretch and tube, localization of pressure on either side of the thymetic membrane and the maintain mechanical energy temperature with, uh, within no The sense of balance and the movement is the same circular, circular canals of inner ear are concerned with detection of motion. The swelling on each of the same circular canals contains sensory cells, sensory cells attached to sensory nerve endings. The sensory cells have hair which are enclosed in a core of gel substance called cupula. Whenever the body or head moves, the same circular canals move with, uh, with the head. The fluid in same circular canals also starts to move, but it lags behind it uh, in its motion, and so it apparently moves in opposite direction. The movement of fluid causes copula to uh, tittle, thus pre uh, pressing the hairs of sensory cells. The pre uh, pressing of sensory hairs creates a nerve impulse in sensory nerve endings. The nerve impulse are transmitted to the brain. The brain then interprets the direction and the speed of motion of the body or head. The semicircular canals are all at right angles to each other, so each one is sensitive to movement in a different plane. One canals respond when you nod your head, one uh, when you shake it and Again, uh, when you uh, tilt, tilt your head to the side. Disorder of our ear, Dif uh, deafness is inability to hear and the most common disorder of ear. Deafness may be temporary or permanent. It can be caused in many ways. If the eardrum is damaged by a very loud noise, Deafness will result. This may be temporary. If the eardrum fails to heal, it can be permanent. Permanent death caused if tiny bones of the middle ear become damaged or fused by infection or crumpled, uh, crumpled away with age or disease. Damage to the auditory nerve is another cause of deafness, and once uh, the nerve is damaged, it cannot be restored. Hearing loss can also be the result of infection when the middle ear becomes full of thick infected mucus. This type of hearing loss is reversed if the infection is cleared with antibiotics. If the infection lasts too long, permanent hearing uh, loss may result. And the smell. Sensory receptor of your tongue and those f found in uh, nutrients are sensitive to solution certain chemical substance. The sensory receptors of taste are located on the upper surface of tongue and so uh, and to lesser extent on the surface of throat. The receptors for smell are located uh, uh, in the upper part of nasal passage. There are five basic tests sensation. The first four are sweet, sour, bitter and salt and a fifth test is called umami. Uh, very recently scientists have discovered this umami test. Umami is a very savory flavor found on food such as meat, cheese, broth and mushroom. Lifters of taste and smell are especially similar in function. When a person speaks of taste sensation, they are referring to compound sensation produced by stimulation of both taste and smell receptors. Taste and smell chemicals must go in solution in film of liquid containing membranes of receptor cells before they can be detected. 
the major functional difference between two kinds of receptors is that smell receptors are more specialized for detecting vulvar fiber uh, bubble um, coming to the organism from the distant source test receptors are specialized for detection of chemical present in the mouth itself smell receptors are uh, are more are much more sensitive to test receptors the skin as a sense organ the skin is remarkably complex organ which carries out a number of important functions in our body and on uh, in your body S some of these are it contains a huge variety of sense organs touch temperature pain and uh, pressure uh, it forms a waterproof layer around our body's tissue which protects you against loss of water by evaporation and prevents you uh, gaining water by osmosis every time you swim in a river or wash. It protects you from entry of bacteria and other pathogens. It also protects you from damage by ultraviolet light from the sun. It is also an uh, accessory organ nitrogenous wastes nitrogenous wastes are lost in a sweat it is a vital in controlling your body temperature short sided uh, short sided problem can be corrected using concave or diverging lens that spread the light out more before it gets into eye this means that thicker lens can bring rise of light into perfect focus on retina there is a room in a long eyeball for light rays to be focused on correct points so short sighted short sighted problem can be corrected if you think concave lens or diverging lens Okay, in our presentation part 6, we will see about endocrine system that includes, that includes exocrine gland and endocrine gland. Until that, subscribe, like, share, comment my video. Thank you for listening.